Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today we're going to look at another volume from my library. And again, we're over here in the metaphysical section, specifically the astrology section. And I wanted to share with you another astrological book that I'm especially fond of. This one is Yesterday, Today, and Forever by Jean Dixon. It was published by Bantam Books in 19, this particular edition, 1977, which is when I got it, which will tell you how long I've had it and how much I think of it. Jean Dixon was at that time a very famous psychic. I don't know that she is necessarily extremely well remembered now, but at that time she was one of the probably two most famous psychics in the United States. And she wrote a number of books, and this is really the only one that I am particularly fond of. But my fondness for it more than makes up for uh, my lack of feeling for the others. I consider this one of the best books that I have read uh, in a number of different ways. So let me tell you what it is. Uh, this is a book of astrology, but it's also a book of numerology. And it really has very little to do with astrology in any traditional sense, although it does use it as a framework. It relies instead on numerology to make its interpretations. And it essentially is interpreting by birth date. It has nothing to do with positions of planets or aspects or houses or anything, although it does involve sun signs, but mostly in relevance to the date. And it's the number, the numerological meaning of the date that Jean Dixon bases her interpretations on in this book. And she has an interpretation for every day of the year. Uh, they're in groups according to uh, their numerological designation, but it's absolutely fascinating in my opinion, very interesting. I found it very helpful. I also found it very accurate. I have found that most birth dates I've looked up in this book match extremely well the person born at that time. And um, what it does is it breaks down each astrological sign according to the numerological meaning of all of the dates that fall within it. And so what you would do is you would look up your birth date and it would speak to you. And it talks about character, it talks about finances, relationships, etc. And again, in my opinion, it's very good. But part of what makes it good is the fact that it is a cross-disciplinary technique. It is not traditional astrology and arguably not traditional numerology, although it falls within that venue. But it's an interesting blend of both. And I think it's very important that we remain open to taking the different things that we've learned from different places and looking at how they can affect each other to expand our knowledge and ability. And this book is an excellent example of that. So again, I highly recommend it to you. I think that you would find it both interesting and enjoyable. And that is our book selection for today. And until next time, may you blessed be.